everybody, I'm Miss Aline, and it is time again for Kids Corner on Armstrong Cable Channels 20 and 100. Today we are at beautiful Pleasant Grove Valley Christian with the first grade class, and we're hanging out in Miss Brockway's room. So, it's all about those rainy days because, you know, sometimes it's that season and sometimes rainy days kind of give you a run for your money. So, we've got two stories and a very cool rainy day rain stick project for you. Stay tuned for that and more. Hey everybody, how you doing today? Good. Good. We are back here at Pleasant Grove Valley Christian with Ms. Brockway, who is rocking the Rockway. And it is her first grade class. You guys look like you are just full of awesome sauce. Are you guys full of awesome sauce? Yeah. I think you are. And I think we are going to find out just how awesome you guys are in just a minute because I have some questions for you and we have some stories to read. And then we have a very cool, very fun art project that I think you guys are going to like. I think you're going to like it a lot. So I have a question. What's the weather like? Can somebody raise their hand and tell me what the weather's been like the past few days? You, right here. Um, it's kind of warm out. It is getting warm. What else is going on out there? You in the back. Uh, it is, it is pretty sunny. It's been a little bit more sunny, but there's something else that's going on off and on, off and on. You in the back right there. Windy. It's been a little windy. What else? You right here. It's been raining. It's been raining. It's been raining a lot off and on and off and on, right? Yeah. Has anybody ever had something that you wanted to do outside, but then it rained and it kind of blew your whole plan? What was it? Playing outside with my friends. Yeah, I remember that. When I was little, sometimes I'd want to go play outside with my friends and it'd start raining and I'd be like, Wah, wah. I can't go play. You, right there. And when, it, when I can't go play play outside when it's raining, I love to play on my swing, but if it's raining, I can't. Yeah, that happens. You don't want to sit in a wet swing, right? Wet swings are no fun. How about uh, somebody I haven't called on? So if I've called on you already, put your hands down. You right here in the gray shirt. Yep, you. <laughs> When I was little, I used to play outside with my mom, and one time it started raining, and we had to go back in. Oh my goodness. How about you right there? Uh, one time I was having a picnic, and then it started raining, and uh, I was like, oh my gosh, my food are getting wet. Yep, was your sandwich all soggy? Yeah, that would be no fun. And picnics are a lot of work, so that's a lot of work to have to pack everything back up, right? How about you right here? I was walking my puppy, but it rained. <gasps> you were walking your puppy? We don't want wet hot dogs. <laughs> that would be no fun, right? Did I call on you in the back already with the braids? Yeah, okay, how about you? When I had to go to a birthday party, anyway. Uh, was it outside birthday party? Yeah, an outside birthday party is no fun when it rains. How about you? So I was me and my mom and my cousin, me and my brother and my dad and my mom. We tried to go get some ice ice cream, and then the rain started going really, 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 really hard. Really, 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 really hard. Oh my goodness! She had to run. Oh, yeah. I've had those kind of things happen before too. All right, guys, so yeah, I've had things like that. When I was really little, we went to Florida one time, and it was so much fun. There was a swimming pool, and we were swimming, but the only thing about Florida is it rains a lot, and it'll start, and it'll stop, and it'll start, and it'll stop, and it rained all day. So we spent all day swimming and jumping out of the pool and swimming and jumping out of the pool and swimming and jumping out of the pool because it kept raining off and on, off and on. All right, guys, so we have two very cool stories and they're kind of funny, they're kind of silly. So I hope you guys are ready because we're gonna go to our first one. 
Can anybody tell me what a story that is not true is called? Is it fiction or nonfiction? Um, is there anybody I haven't called on yet? You, right there with the blue shirt. Is it fiction or nonfiction? Fiction. Awesome sauce. Fiction is fake. Nonfiction is not fake. So, these are both probably fiction stories. But this one could have some things that are real in it and some things that might not be so real. So we'll find out what all that's about in just a second. So this one is called Storm is Coming and it is by Heather Tekovec. <laughs> the old farmer leaped out of his chair and clicked the radio off. Hear that dog? He bellowed. Storm is coming. We better get the animals safely in the barn. Dog sprang to his feet and bounded out the door. Round him up, the farmer called as dog ran circles around the sheep. Storm is coming, storm is coming, barked the dog. We have to get to the barn quickly. Frightened, the sheep raced after dog toward the barn. Anybody ever um, heard about dogs that help round up sheep and they run around them in circles and the sheep run towards wherever the dog is kind of pushing them to? It's kind of cool, right? He's kind of like their guard dog and their guide dog all in one. On the way, they passed the pond where Duck was paddling. Storm is coming! Storm is coming! The sheep bleated. We have to get to the barn quickly. Duck flapped up the grassy bank and flew ahead of the sheep. The cows in the pasture looked up as the animals sped past. Storm is coming, storm is coming, Duck quacked. We have to get to the barn quickly. <laughs> the cows heard to, herded together and joined the stampede. When they all reached the barn, the farmer hurried them inside. Then he shut the heavy door. Anybody un, kind of have an idea of why the farmer got all of the animals to go inside the barn instead of leaving them out in the storm? You in the back with the brakes. Because they need to be safe. Because they need to be safe. He's a good farmer and he's taking care of his animals, right? The barking, the flapping, the bleeding, and the mooing awoke Cat from the nap in the hay. She stretched and yawned and opened one eye. Storm is coming, the animals told her all at once. And who is Storm? She meowed. Wait a minute, what? Who is Storm? Do you think the cat has ever heard about a storm? I don't think cat has. The cows looked at duck. Duck looked at sheep. The sheep looked at dog and, um, but the dog didn't know. Nobody had an answer. So they all knew storm was coming. Storm was coming, but nobody knows what storm is. And Cat said, who is Storm? This could get interesting. Well, he must be very mean, Dog decided, moving to guard the door. And he must be very scary, the sheep stammered, starting to shiver. Big, big, he must be very big, quacked. And <laughs> the duck sputtered, flapping into the air in a flurry. The cows just lay in the corner and moaned. Cat yawned again. Well, wake me up when he gets here. She murmured and drifted back to sleep. Do you think they have the wrong idea about what storm is? I think they think it's a person. So let's see what happens. The animals waited and listened, but there was no sign of storm. We need to look out. We need a lookout, dog barked. Duck flew up to open the window and cautiously peeked out. No storm, no storm, he quacked. 
but the sky is growing very dark. Oh no, bleated the sheep. Even the sun is hiding from storm. The cows dropped their heads and moaned louder. The cows moaning, the ducks quacking. Dark is good, dark told them. I mean, dog told them. <laughs> In the dark, Storm can't find us. Oh, that's kind of smart of dog. If Storm was a person, he'd be right, right? If it was dark, then Storm couldn't find them. But can a storm find you in the dark? No. Yeah. A real storm could find you in the dark. Yeah. Because it's not a person. It just rains randomly. It just rains randomly, exactly. All right, so the animals nodded. They thought that was a good idea dog had. That is good. They agreed. Duck called down again. I still don't see storm, but there's a big wind blowing. <laughs> Great, dog barked. The wind will blow storm away. The cows lifted their heads and the sheep stopped shaking. Hmm. They got a little less scared because they thought, oh, the wind will blow Storm away for sure. So they sat and they waited, but then they heard a heavy tapping on the roof. <gasps> storm is knocking, the sheep cried. No, 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 it's only rain. Duck informed them. Dog nodded, the rain We'll wash away our tracks so Storm can't follow us here, he added. The cows and the sheep listened for a moment and then they nodded in agreement and went, I think he's right. Do you think he's right? I don't think so. One more time, Duck called down. I still don't see Storm, but the sky is flashing. The sky is going to blind Storm. So he can't see us, Dog announced. The cows scrambled to their feet and the sheep started shuffling. A roll of thunder shook the barn. Anybody ever felt thunder shake everything? Thunder can be kind of big and it makes so much noise sometimes it feels like it's shaking the whole ground. Hear that, duck? Dog barked. Yes, yes, duck quacked. The clouds are growling at storm. They'll scare him away for sure. All day long the wind blew the rain fell and the lightning flashed and the thunder rolled and through it all the animals cheered because they thought all of that stuff was going to get rid of storm because storm was coming but wait what's hap oh raise your hand tell me what you said again that was a storm but they didn't realize that was the storm who else figured that out <laughs> all right you guys are pretty smart all right but then everything stopped. The sky went silent and so did the animals. They waited and listened and Duck flew down to huddle with the others. <sighs> thump, thump, thump. Someone was coming toward the barn. Click, click, clang. Someone was opening the door. Someone was coming in. The animals backed into the corner. This was it. Storm had come to get them. The door swung wide open and the animals gasped. Can everybody gasp for me? All right. It was the farmer. <laughs> Everybody out, he called. It's all safe now. Hooray! 
shouted the animals. The barking, the flapping, the bleeding, and the mooing awoke Cat again. She stretched and yawned and opened one eye. Mm, did I miss Storm? Yes. She meowed. No, Dog reported. Storm never came. Then he ran out into the sunshine with the others and Cat went back to sleep. <laughs> did you guys like that story? Yay! Pretty silly, right? Okay, so now it is time for our second story. This one is called My Side of the Car by Kate Pfeiffer. My dad and I are going to the zoo. We've tried to go to the zoo before, but we never get there. Sometimes something always happens. One day when we were supposed to go to the zoo, my mom tripped over a toy fire engine and so we went to the hospital instead of the zoo. Uh-oh. Another day we were supposed to go to the zoo and my dog Pasha got lost. So we spent the day looking for him instead of going to the zoo. Another day we were supposed to go to the zoo, but my grandmother showed up for a surprise visit and they don't like the zoo. So we went to the museum instead of the zoo. Today, we're finally going to the zoo. Nothing can stop us. Not a broken foot or a lost dog or a surprise visit not even an escaped tiger. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> so, because if we don't go to the zoo today, I don't think we will ever get there. Anybody ever felt like that? Like you wanted to go somewhere so bad and it just kept getting put off and put off and you're like, I'm never gonna get there. But yeah. you, remember, we have to exercise our what? Patient sauce. So. The monkeys and the giraffes and the elephants and the polar bears have waited a long time to see us. We're finally on our way. We're having the best time ever. Until my dad says to me, Sadie, it's raining. I look out of my window and say to him, not on my side of the car. Then he says it again, Sadie, it's raining. We can't go to the zoo. So I look out of my window again and I say, it's not raining on my side of the car. <laughs> my dad keeps driving. After a few minutes, he says, Sadie, is it raining on your side of the car yet? I look out of my window and the sun is shining on my side of the car. People are putting on their sunglasses and heading to zoos all over the world on my side of the car. Hmm, it's kind of fishy. My dad keeps driving. After he drives a little longer, he says, Sadie, it's pouring on my side of the car. I think by now it must be at least drizzling on your side of the car. So I look out of my window again and one drop has fallen on my side of the car. It might not even be a whole drop. It looks more like a half a drop. The huge field of sunflowers we're driving by won't even notice a half a drop. So I tell them, and him. It's not raining on my side of the car. People on my side of the car are wearing sunglasses and they're watering their lawns. Do you water your lawn if it's raining outside? No. No. There's, because the rain is watering it for you. So after we pass two stop signs and drive up a big hill, my dad says, Sadie, what about now? Is it because, you know, uh, it's raining so hard on my side of the car that uh, the windshield wipers are exhausted. It is 
Well, okay, Sadie, is it even sprinkling on your side of the card yet? Yeah? Mm -hmm. The rain from his side of the car made a puddle that splashed my side of the car, so I can't even see the people anymore. Who I know are there. All those people with sunglasses watering their lawns and heading to zoos. They're walking their dogs or riding their bikes or eating ice cream. They gotta be there, right? There's no rain on my side of the car. What do you think? Do you think there might really be rain on Sadie's side of the car? No. No, no, let's see. So I tell him, nope, it's still not raining on my side of the car. And he keeps driving. I'm gonna get angry. The road on his side of the car looks more like rivers than roads now. And so we have to look for the road on my side of the car because the zoo is on my side of the car anyway. So after an extra long trip, we finally get to the zoo. What does it look like it, the weather is out here? Does it look pretty? Yeah, it looks pretty bad, right? Is the sun shining? Does this look like a good day to walk around outside at the zoo? I'm not sure about that. So we're here, says my dad. I get out and walk over to his side of the car. What do you think, he asks. I think it's raining really hard on your side of the car and I don't want to get wet, so I say, I think we should come back to the zoo another day. Okay, says my dad. So do I. What do you think dad maybe wanted her to kind of figure it out for herself so she wouldn't be so disappointed? After a big turn and a hill and some boring just plain roads, my dad says, Sadie, I was wondering if it's raining on your side of the car because it stopped on my side of the car. And off we go to the zoo. And did you guys like that story? Yeah. <laughs> I did too. So now it is time for our very cool Bring Your Own Rain Rain Stick Project. You ready? Yeah. Okay. very own rain sticks. So I need you to follow very close directions because today we are working with ah, tape. <laughs> and so if some of you guys have worked with ah, tape before, you know it's kind of sticky and if you're not careful, it'll stick to itself and it causes kind of, yeah. So let us start by very carefully picking up our paper towel rolls. And for those of you at home, you can use any Thing like a paper towel roll, a saran wrap roll, a foil roll. Some of us may have used foil rolls. I actually tested this out on a couple of things. So what I found out is that actually I thought that the saran wrap type roll that was a little more sturdy would be better, but I don't hear it as well. So I think because the sound might be able to get through a little bit easier, the paper towel roll is even better. Gently rolled your long piece of foil the long way, just like that, into a loose tube. 
you are going to take your long piece of foil and stick it right in the middle, gently. So you gotta be careful, you gotta guide it in and stick it right into your tube. So you're gonna have to kind of hold it sideways. Put it down on your desk for a second. Get your small piece, fold it in half. And you are going to stick your tube right in the middle of that piece of foil. And then fold the sides over so that you wrap the end around it. Got it? So I'm going to take my tube and I'm going to come to the side of my table like this and I'm going to stick my tube, if you can see what I'm doing, right in the middle so that my tape is covering it and I'm going to fold my tape over and then I'm going to lift it off my desk and I'm going to push it down. Ms. Brockway's help. She's going to come around and she's going to scoop like three scoops of these little guys here. These are called lentils and at home you can use anything to make a rain stick. You can use beans, you can use rice, you can use lentils. Um, something that's small, something that's hard and something that will make noise when you shake it, all right? It's kind of important to make sure, because when you're dealing with little ones, sometimes we get things a little bit mixed up in the order. So if I put my lentils inside one end of my stick, and then I forget I have it open, and I go to go fix something on the other, everything's gonna pour out, we don't want that. So, it helps to make sure that you have a grown up with you to help you out with this part. All right, guys? Hey everybody, thanks for joining us again for Kids Corner on Armstrong Cable channels 20 and 100. We've had so much rainy day fun here at Valley Christian Pleasant Grove with Miss Brockway's first grade class. And it's been all about rainy days. And next time you have a rainy day, maybe you guys can make your very cool rainy day rain sticks or keep it for another day when it's not rainy and you just want to hear rain. So until next time, don't forget to keep tuning in. And until then, we say goodbye. goodbye.